Did you know that you can customize your own clock face for the always on display and for the lock screen on your Samsung device? If you did not, you should watch this video because clock face is the ultimate customization tool to design your own clock faces. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Sherry and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we will be looking at the in-depth customization of clock face for Samsung lock screen and always on display. We also have bonus tips for Galaxy watch users to set your watch face as AOD on your phone. Again, good lock is country locked. So if you are not in the respective country, you need to download nice lock from Play Store and then download the APK for clock face. Alright, so when we click on clock face, we will get two options here. One is always on display and the other one is for lock screen. We can customize these two options separately on this module. Let's start with the always on display. And once it's open, as you can see a collection of clock face styles, you can use them as they are, but we are here for customization. This is what we do on this channel, so we will customize or create one from scratch. In the bottom, you can see three tabs. First is for the predefined styles. In second one, we can create our own custom lock face and the third one is to create clock face for Galaxy Watch. We will cover all of these. Let's go back to face tab and on the top right we have a plus icon which will let us create a new clock face. And under that, if we tap on any clock face, we will get two options. One is to edit the clock face and the other one is to apply the clock face. I'm gonna go with this second face and tap on edit. Alright, so here we have our editing panel. Top left we have our preview panel and on the right side we have all of the layers that are being used in the clock face. And we can add more layers over here or delete the ones we already have in this panel. And under that we have the settings for every layer. Okay so in preview panel we can go from top to bottom. Let's start with uh, the first layer which is January. Find that in layers panel and select it. In details panel you can see that this was an image so all we can do is that we can change it with what we already have or we can create something ourselves and then load it from the gallery. We have all types of emojis and text over here so we'll just go ahead and change the text with something different. Next we have this icon of a cow, uh, select it from the layers panel and again this one is also an image. I will select something better for here, let's uh, go with this emoji. We can't do too much customization with emojis, we can only add them or delete them in here. Next up we have the clock face and here comes the fun part. Uh, in the details panel we can now see a bunch of options. We can change clock hand styles, indexes for the watch and color of each part. So let's start with our hand. Uh, so we have 5 options with different sizes and we can also turn that off. Under that we can change the color of our hand. Same thing goes for the minute hand and the pin. Pin is a dot at the center of clock. And finally we have a lot of cool options for the indexes and again we can change the color as well. Last thing is our date widget. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you can also change the size of the widget. Just select the layer and pinch in or out with both fingers. That way you can change the size and rotation of the widget. Alright so in the date widget we have three options, style, type and the line settings. In style we can use bold, italic and underline for the text and we can also completely remove the style as well. Then we can choose the color for the text and next we have the type. In here we have different types for like how we want to show our date. And at the end in the line settings we can choose to make it horizontal or vertical. One more thing that we can do is to add a new widget. To do that tap on the plus icon under the layer panel. In the drop down list we have 6 options. We can add these widgets as well. Once we are done with all of the settings, tap on the download button on the top right and it will be downloaded to our clock faces. Now we are done with the editing, let's create a clock face from scratch. Tap on plus icon. We have the analog clock widget by default. Uh, let's delete this one. And let's add digital clock widget. In the details panel, we can change the style. I will go with the fourth one. And then we can choose from 12 hours and 24 hours format. In type section we can choose whether it should be horizontal, vertical or diagonal. I will choose vertical and let's increase the size. Then we can choose the color for minutes and hours. Now let's add uh, date. In settings panel I will choose bold style and color as well. 
then we have the type let's go with this one and for the line settings i will keep that on horizontal tap on plus icon and we have another option here as well we can also add gif let's find a beautiful one for our clock face all right that looks really good i like neat and clean things for my setup but you can add anything according to your taste now let's add an image tap on plus icon and select images let's go with this text and uh, we are pretty much done tap on download icon and now we have a custom clock face created from scratch next up we can create clock faces for galaxy watch first uh, let's download one once it's downloaded tap on edit button to edit or you can directly apply that to the clock as well if you go into edit mode we can see the same panels here we can add additional widgets over here or just keep it as it is okay so these were the settings for clock face on always on display screen now if you open up lock screen the one thing that is going to differentiate between both these options is the images in background so that you can see and create your clock faces according to that other than that all of the options are same for editing or creating new clock faces uh, so yes that's uh, all for the clock face module and if you like the video make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one